Old Alabama Gardener, and today I'm going to be talking about little tricks and tips on how to grow big slicing onions. When folks think about planting onions, these little bulbs, either white or brown, is usually what they buy. But these do not grow into big slicing onions. Why? Because they are already one year old, and if you plant these, you will have some nice green onions, and then they will go to seed. Seeds give you lots of choices or varieties that you can grow, but they take about three or four months to grow a slip that is ready to be set out. Buying ready to transplant slips is a lot quicker. Now, before you run out and buy a bunch of bundles of onions, there's one important thing to consider. Do you live in a short day growing area? Or do you live in a long day growing area? Okay, so now I know which planting zone I'm in, and I know which day length onion slips I should buy. But how do I know which onion I am actually buying when I'm at the store? Now in the early spring, you will find the onions in these wooden crates at stores like Lowe's and Home Depot and Walmart and farm stores. Now I call your attention to where I'm pointing on the tag where it tells you short day onions. And if it was a long day onion, I'll show you that in a minute, it would say long day. So here I'm pointing on the tag that this Walla Walla onion is a long day onion. Now I want to make a point. It doesn't have anything to do with how long it takes to grow the onion. It has to do with the daylight hours. So if you plant this short day onion and you live in a long day zone, you're going to be disappointed. It will make you some beautiful green onions, but it will not make you a large slicing onion. Now another concern that people have about planting these onion slips is how deep? How deep should I plant that onion slip? And my answer to you is don't get wrapped around the axle over it because it's not that critical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this knuckle, this first knuckle right here of my uh, finger as a measuring and I'm also going to use this second knuckle right there of my finger to measure something. So this first knuckle is going to be about one inch, one inch long or one inch deep. And this second knuckle right there is going to be about two inches deep. So we'll explain it here in just a second. Now here I'm measuring on the onion using my knuckle about one inch and marking it with my left thumbnail. To show you that it's one inch, we'll put a ruler against it. So using the first joint of my finger, we're going to make a hole in the ground. We're going to plant this onion slip. And then all you do is pinch the soil back around that onion slip to hold it in place. Now to the second joint or second knuckle of my finger, you can see that that's also about two inches. So now let's plant an onion slip. We're going to plant it two inches deep. At this time, it doesn't matter to the onion whether it's one inch deep as on the bottom or two inches deep as the one on the top. Now when the onion starts to bulb, you'll be wanting to pull the dirt away from it as you see me doing here. And the one that's only planted one inch deep is going to be less dirt to pull away compared to the one on the top where it's planted two inches deep and you can see the amount of soil that I'm having to remove just to get down to the root level. In both cases, whether the onion slip is planted one inch deep or two inches deep, 
you must remove the soil from around it when it begins to bulb and the difference is uh, you will have to remove more soil obviously from the two inch deep one. Now watch me quickly push that one in the ground. So here I am on day one, I'm planting my onion slips. And you want to keep on side dressing with ammonium sulfate and you also need to make sure they have plenty of water. The number of blades determines the number of layers or rings in the mature onion. So let's count this onion and see how many blades we have. Looks like we've got 11 blades on this onion, but notice that it has two sets of blades. Had this been a single onion instead of a divided onion as it's going to be, then we would have had more blades per onion. Now here you can see I have removed the dirt from the onions to the point where they're really just sitting on top of the ground with their roots still in the soil. When the neck gets soft, as you see me feeling of these here, it's time to push the tops of all the onions over. And here is the results of all of the time and work that you put into it. Some nice big slicing onions. Place your onions in a shaded area, let them cure for about two, maybe three weeks before you store them.